Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. I'm going to need a planter and I'm going to need a sprayer. Planter is the most important part. The rest of it, we've, we've got pretty much everything else that we want. So I'm going to need one of these so that we can put some corn in the ground. Now that one right there, that's a 6 metre spread. Not enough. That one is a 6 metre spread. Again, not enough for my tastes. It's going to be one of these. That one right there, 12 metre spread. That's pretty good. The Great Plains one is 18 metres. That is nice and big scale, but honestly, I think it might be a bit too big. It's this one here I'm looking at. Right, we've got a couple of these. We've got that one by Stevie there. He's got a bigger capacity on it. It's a bigger tank. Um, that one there... It's only a 5.4. It's, it's one of these horse ones that I think would be ideal. That one's 18 metres wide, and it's a 9,000 litre tank. This one is 12 metres wide with a 9,000 litre tank. Uh, that one is only 9 metres wide. The width of the tank doesn't make any difference, but this one here, this maestro, I'm thinking that might be the one that we want. All right, if I go into there, I will only lease this one rather than buy it so i know that we can afford it we do have just enough money but that if we go and buy spend all our money remaining money on this we're not going to be able to afford the pigs and i think 12 meters would be better than 18 meters for the fields that we're going to be wanting to plant with this so i will lease that one there and i'll probably just keep that well per day 1390 we'll hold this one and the problem is no, actually, throughout an entire year, we're paying one three ninety per year, at the per day, sorry, and we've got three days per part of season, haven't we? Like nine days per season. Are we on nine days? Remember now, what did I set it to? No, I'm on six days. Twelve. Eighteen, twenty-four. That's over twenty-four thousand. We don't want to keep that one on lease for the whole time. We only want to lease that one for just the, the short time, just for doing the planting. Did I actually go and lease it then? Let me have a look. So it's that one there that I want. I have already leased it. That's done. And then it'll be a sprayer that we want. And I'm going to leave that. I probably should have waited for a day or two before I leased that machine. Um, that, that would have been a, a more sensible thing to go and do. But anyway, we, we've done it now. We've leased it. And we're only going to want it to plant field 4 and then we'll be returning it anyway because it's going to be too expensive to keep it here for an entire year. And then we will re-lease it again next year if we still need it or we will get something different. So I'm going to take all of the barley that we've got in here because I'm not planting barley to start with. So I'm going to use up the barley... Oh, nope. I'm going to use up the barley first. Get that out of here completely and feed that into the chickens and then we'll start working on wheat because that field up there we're going to plant wheat in it first we'll start you there i go with the barley and use all of that up and we'll feed this to the chickens there because then they're not going to take that much they need twenty six thousand for an entire year but we can only give them two days worth of food which means that we've got to feed them you can get away with feeding them every other day i would have thought i I'm absolutely certain that we could just feed them every other day if we wanted to. Now, if I bring you to here, unload here, left, control, tip, side, back, tip, side, left, tip, side, right, and then I can unload. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to unload that one out that side there. And like I suspected, we're not able to put all that much in there. If we go now and we have a look at our menu in here, 74% on the chickens. But look at this, 1677. Next animal in, we don't have it. Look at these, not fertile. Right, eggs, 4 litres. We've got 4 litres, age 0.4 years. It'll be interesting to see if they do breed, if these chickens do end up breeding. It'll be very interesting. I'm going to put the cover over that, and we're going to leave the barley in this trailer. And I'm going to bring that down, and I'm going to park that in this shed right here. 
and that's where we're going to stop. And then we've got that, we can just do a quick circle round, and we'll be using that trailer quite a bit for doing the animal feed anyway. I think this is a, a really good trailer for doing that sort of thing with. Um, works out quite nicely with that. Now, you. I'm going to run a few... Actually, you know what? Let's start speeding everything up nice and fast. Before I do too much else, I want to go... You know what? Actually, I'm going to move this one from up on the slope. I'm not going to bother taking it back to our place just yet because, um, honestly, I just can't be bothered with it just yet. Um, what I will do is I will take it off of that field. I'll just bring it down to here. Now, yeah, we can stop there for a minute. Now, next up, you over here. We've decided to stop for a minute. And i got one little tiny bit over there. I won't worry about these bits here too much. See, when you're doing the lime, these bits actually, they, they bug me a little bit more than most others. Like, doing the seeding and that... Well, doing the seeding as well. Cultiv cultivating, I'm, I'm not really quite so worried about. Fertilizer, I can live with that as well. But when I'm doing liming, these little tiny bits that get left behind, they do bug me a lot more than just about any other um, like process in the fields. Except possibly um, combining. Like leaving a little bit of crop behind when I'm combining. That really irritates me. Anyway, we'll, we'll let that, that one's doing great. And I'm fast-forwarding time now quite fast. Four degrees for the ground temperature. We're early spring still. This one can go back home. We'll drive that one back over to our house. So let's bring you up on there and do that. We'll wiggle in round. When I have got some... Well, it's, it's, we need grass, don't we? We can get cows when we've got grass, and we can get pigs when we've got grains. We've got some grains, so I could actually get pigs pretty soon. I don't really need to wait to get pigs, because I've got enough food here just to tide them over for a little bit. But I don't know if I've got enough to tide pigs over until next summer. Uh, well, not next summer, until the end of the summer when we actually get to harvesting. I Honestly, I don't know about that. So I'm at least going to fast forward until we can start planting. Then we will seriously consider what we do next. I mean, maybe I could just get a stock trailer and we'll use either this voucher, the Sour Skittles, in order to tow the trailer. Or we'll use the fence that we've got over there to do the road work. Because these two tractors are nice and fast along the road. Whereas all of our big articulated ones are great for in the field. They've got the horsepower. But along the roads, they just don't have speed at all. They're not really road machines, are they? They're not the ones that we want for work in the roads. Um, we'll clean all of this up a minute. This one can be parked up in the shed. We'll service the seed drill before we start working on planting all of the wheat up there. And we should, in the morning, we should actually be ready to start planting the wheat. That's something that we should be ready to start doing. So let's get you... I'll swing you on round this way, like that. Just wondering if I should put the cultivator over in that shed over there. I don't think I will. I think that one down there will mostly be for tractors. I'll put the cultivator here. I'll bring that one in there. The fella is out in the field doing the lime spreading. He can stay there and he can work overnight tonight. So that cultivator can go there, like that. There we go. Actually, you know what? I want to back that one up a little bit more than that. There. Like that. Right. That's fine. Right there. And then I'll back this one up. So, I mean, single wheels is better for running along the road. So, we probably won't use Skittles for running along the road. The Sour Skittles is probably best if um, that one also stays back here unless we take the doubles off. In which case, it'll be that bad boy over there that we use for running up and down the road. We can lease a dolly and we can lease the animal trailer. And we're going to get ourselves 50-odd pigs. That might be the best way to do this. So, it's completely pitch black. We'll get ourselves 12 hours of kip. Yeah, it'll take us to 7 o'clock in the morning. And 7 o'clock in the morning is... Right, vehicle leasing costs 11578 Oh, no, that's overnight. That's not actual money that has gone down in the middle of the night. 
So we don't need to worry about that too much. Temperature, 5 degrees is the soil temperature at the moment. That's looking pretty good. We are just coming up to 8 o'clock in the morning. The chickens do not have any waste over here. They're looking pretty good. Have a look in there. So wheat and barley is down and water is down as well. We should have the water system will be up and running by this evening. 78% on there. Now next animal in is not actually giving us any next animal at all. So I don't quite know how this works. Looking down through here, I've got no idea how that works properly. That's 9 o'clock in the morning now, so I'm going to slow that back down to one time speed. And if you look here, the plumber is busy working, and every couple of hours, another one of these bits of pipe. That one goes next, I believe, and it goes, it gets clamped onto there. And then those bits of pipe, they will turn up next to the water trough over there on each side. Every couple of hours, that one will alter. And so it's quite cool. You can actually see the work being done throughout the day. And that's something I really like about that mod. It's a very awesome little um, feature about it is the way that it progresses through the day. And it's the same with this one over here, except that this one's not really started yet. He hasn't put the bits in the ground. And he will do. He'll put those bits in the ground there. And then he'll end up putting the pipes either side of this one as well. And you, as the bits get put in the ground, they disappear from... Over there, right? The, the, you'll have one bit stuck in the ground and then it'll disappear from there. And so you use up. This is literally it's using up the items and as it progresses. And it's, it's such a cool way that it's done, right? It's not an instant thing overnight. It's a very, very awesome way that they've got that uh, figured out. I really like that. Apparently, you finished your task. I'd say that was actually pretty good. Let's have a look on the field. And we'll have a look up here. We've got one tiny, tiny little patch up there that, honestly, I don't really care about. And you can see the weeds starting to come up through in the grass. But there's something I'm not sure about. People are often asking me for something to test. So here's a little test. You can post the, like, people, um, like, they like things to test. And then they give me the results over on the Discord. Um, Discord, there is a link to it in the description down below. We, we do a lot on the Discord. We, we get up to a lot on there. There's a lot of talking and stuff. Um, I'm on there fairly frequently. And... Ooh, you're not going to crash, are you? No. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I do occasionally set a, a little tester for somebody, for people to do. And this is quite often as people is keen to take up that. as little, you know, a little task to set their minds to in the game... Give them something extra to work at. Uh, my test for this week is do lime and... Um, does lime and weeds affect yield in any way for grass in seasons? There's a test for you. That's actually going to be quite a long and time-consuming test to carry out. And I do appreciate that that one is going to be a particularly savage test to carry out. Um, does lime and uh, weed growth affect the yield of grass in any way in seasons? I've no idea myself, but uh, yeah. So if, you, if, you, if you're looking for something to test, then there is one that I think could be quite good for testing. Now, next up, animals. Animals, animals, animals. Do I go for... Do I rush off and get the animal? Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, we've got another thing. We've got a, a more important thing. And now I'm wondering about this because this is a nine meter seed drill. It's going to take a long time to plant that field up there. I mean, it took... Mind you, it didn't take all that long to plant this lot. Once it got going, it, was, it, it did it in a reasonable amount of time, didn't it? Planting that field there. So it should be all right with a 9-meter seed drill doing this one. I mean, yeah, really, we'd want something a bit bigger than that. But I'm also very much aware of the amount of money that we've got. And we want to get pigs and we want to get cows. When the grass is able to grow, we want to get some cows. And oh my goodness, giddy aunt gracious me, look at this. The new spring growth. On the trees has come through. Look at that. And it is new spring growth on the trees. Look at this. This this is fantastic. 
It is absolutely fantastic. It's like it's really small leaves coming through. So there's only really small leaves at the moment. That's, that's, that's brilliant. The greenery is starting to come to life here. Starting to look better and better already. Now, we'll go into here, and we want to go repair right there for 52. Yes. And... Wait. Why are you only doing those two? I'm going to do this one. I'm going to make sure the IMT is properly serviced. Okay, I'll drop to there. Ah, there we go. Right. Uh, repair that one for 65 euros. No, I'm not going to repaint. I'm not going to bother repainting them. Then I will go here, and I want to open up that bad boy, and I'm also going to change this over. So we're going to do wheat up in the top field first. That's going to be our first crop that we do. So I bring that one over there, bring it into that side there, and start filling up with seeds. So wheat up there. Oh, that's filled already. So I'll back you over here, and I'll load in some fertilizer as well start that one filled up there um yeah so we got we're fine for planting that or canola and my rotation planner over here we're going to go with wheat first and then barley is going to be the second year oh wait a minute no i say i was using up the barley because i'm going to do wheat first but then I'm not going to have any oil crop to feed the pigs. And we need to wait a year before we can have that coming through anyway. I've already got a rotation where I've got some grass and some corn. I could really do with another ploughed field, to be honest. That's going to have to be next year. Um, well, I need wheat or barley to start off with. If I go with wheat, I then sort of committed to do barley second. And then canola. And then oat, and then canola. So and, and then we go back round through. If I start with canola, and then I go with wheat, I'm not going to have any food for the chickens. I think barley is going to be our first choice. Okay. I did originally... No, I know I said um, wheat to start with, but barley is going to be our first choice up in this big field up here. And then we'll do canola in the second year. That gives us some more oilseed for the pigs that we're getting and with barley it means that we will have straw later on in the year so that we've got straw for both the horses and for the cows as well and that's sort of that's going to cover everything the barley will be able to feed the chickens and then the straw will be for the cows and the horses so that they've got bedding um cows horses and pigs they're all going to need it and we'll get corn later on we we'll get that planted as well later on, and we'll also be able to have everything coming from... Uh, that's for, this, for, the, for the pigs. Okay, yes. That is that is going to work out quite nicely. So we, we definitely want to have this. I'm, I know I'm going backwards to what I normally... No, I'm not. I do normally go this way around to start with. So we'll go around this way around again to start with on this one. And it's going to be interesting to see how well this imt copes with going up and down the hills i think he's probably going to be all right obviously the steep bit right around over by the trees is going to be a little bit more of a challenge for it but other than that i think we'll be all right we've missed a little tiny bit there with the lime and i kind of expected to miss some little bits with lime once we've done our planting actually i can't go on but I'm, I'm this will put one layer of fertilizer across and then after that, we're going to need to put another layer of fertilizer across. But we're going to need to wait until the crop has just sort of sprouted through. So we'll go on and do all the planting of this field. I'm actually thinking that once I've got the outside round done... Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking now because I want to get the pigs... I, I do want to buy pigs, and I want to get those fairly early on, I think. Um, cows, I haven't even looked at those, but there's no point until I've got grass that I can go and cut. So if I have grass that I can cut, then we can deal with the cows. 
because we can make some hay, we can make some silage, we can do bales, we can get fresh grass, we can get everything that we need. Can't give them TMR yet, and we won't be able to do that until later on, but we can still give them just about everything that they need, even without being able to do total mixed ration just yet. And so we'll be able to start getting some money from those as well. This is going to be interesting. Also, we want to check on the prices for the pigs, but again, that's another thing. Let's get this outside round done, shall we? Wow. Okay, I'm not even halfway around the field yet, and I'm already 10% down on the total seed in this thing here. And fertilizer's not far behind. I really like the leaves on the trees. I think those do look very cool. That is a very nice thing to look at right there. And just bring it around there. Um, I don't know how many stages of growth they've got, because in the... Uh, the time-lapse one that I'm doing, you know, the it's Black Mountain, is it? Yeah, Black Mountain. Um, the, the, the Black Mountain time-lapse, I've got seasons now on that one as well, and the leaves seem to have come through quicker. Whether I just didn't notice them in this early stage like this, um, and they sort of went through to almost a, a full spring growth a little bit later on, I'm not really sure. I may, it may have been that. It may not have been. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I mean, it could have been. They, they certainly, do, it does look really cool like that because it's, it's just the small, very pale green leaves just as they're coming through. I can also see down on our right hand side, we've got a couple patches of weeds there that are completely fully grown. They've come. They've already completely grown through. I'm thinking, going around the field. I'll only do once around. This this is such a big field, right? It is a really, really big field, so it's, it's going to take a while to get round. And this is why some people have been telling me that I should either get going with the AI vehicle extension and use that one to do the outside round, or I should get course play and get that one. And you just basically, you just, with, like, drilling and stuff like that, it measures the field and it figures it out, and then it goes on and does it. So I will consider one or the other, and get that ready for next week, I think. I will actually get started on using them. I know I've, I've spent a lot of time talking about them, but I haven't actually used either one of them yet. And it's probably about time that I did, I think. You know, all, all this talk, and I still haven't actually had any action on it. I, I, I really need to do something. One, one or the I need to pick one or the other and hurry up and get it done. Because otherwise, everybody's going to get fed up with me ra waffling on about it all the time. I'm going to bring this one over to here, and then I'm going to just I'll get out to this side a little bit further. There. Right, now I'll lift that one, and I'm going to go up here and do round these trees, and then moving up and down this hill, I'll leave that with hired help going, and that will probably be one of the last things that we do when we plant this field. I'm thinking that I can probably get away with fast forwarding time once i've got this first bit going i could probably get away with fast forwarding time some more so that we can get started on planting the corn as well and get those two i won't i won't bother plowing up I, i'm, I'm going to stick with what i said i'm not going to plow up anymore we've done enough plowing and preparing of soil and everything um we'll make more fields next time and probably be able to get some more machinery in, in the next year as well so we just deal with this one field right here, and then we've got the other one that we want to plant with the corn, and that's food for every animal that we're going to have. We're going to have a few chickens. I did originally say I wasn't going to get any chickens, but um, I am going to have a few. We're not, we're not going for very many, though. Not this time. We're, we're just going to stick with those cup, couple of house chickens. That's, that's just to give us a few eggs, just a little bit of something to... Um, supplement our diet a little bit with i think and then we've got a few extras that we can sell from our 200 chickens we ought to have at least a couple extra eggs that we can sell from that many chickens and then um it's just so that mainly so that we can see what the chickens are like in the seasons and see how the whole chicken breeding thing works as well because um it's not that straightforward a process i don't think like, n none of the animals seem to be all that straightforward with the the fact that they've now got male and female animals. Um, yeah, I, I, I know the whole theory behind it, but um, the, the I like, making it work in the game, it's going to be very interesting to see how this does actually work out. 
Now, I've got twice around on the circle of trees, and then we've got the big old slope up there. Just going to bring that down. So we've got one straight line there. I'll lower you in here, and I will carry on and do this. And then I'll simply start using the hired help up in the top corner, and we'll slowly, slowly work our way back down towards here. And however long that takes, I, mean, I don't really know how long that's going to take. That's, it's going to be a while. I do appreciate this going to take quite a long time to be able to do it. We're going to want to also refill this seed drill. Now, am I going to be dragging that back to the yard each time? Or do I go and get something that I can overload seed and stuff into this trailer and do it that way? I'll, we'll have a look at the overloaders in a second. I'll go up through here. So there's a couple of weeds that we've just sort of cultivated back in. Um, pushed back in. The grass is all... We've already got a growth stage on the grass there. Uh, that's coming along quite nicely now. It's going to be... Right, we're mid-spring. I need to have a look at the map. I need to see because we may already have enough growth on the grass in some places that we can go and start doing some mowing. And if that's the case, then we're able to start seriously considering getting cows as well. Uh, we need to look at the prices of the cows and see how much um, how much we pay at this time of year compared to other times of the year. Because certain times of the year you go and buy the animals, or it certainly used to be in FS17 seasons, um, you bought the, when you bought the cows, you, it, it, it it was vastly, vastly different in price. You could get them for about a third of the price at one time of year compared to another time of the year. And, like, the thou you literally, you were saving thousands on every single animal that you bought. So if it's the same in this one, it might well be worth us waiting before we go and purchase cows. Pigs? I don't think we need to worry about waiting quite so much with the pigs. I'm just going to bring that one over to there, and I'm going to press H on there. And let that one carry on. So while that's doing there, we're first going to go into here. And we're going to have a look. So we've got barley we're, we're planting in here. We know all about that. And we're going to go to prices. So that's our actual prices that we're going to be getting. This is... And that gives us averages of previous years in there. So we can see how the... As we sort of move through the seasons, we can see where it starts changing. It gets the actual accurate reading. And until we get that accurate reading coming up, we're, we're not really going to know. It's going to be pure guesswork. Milk looks pretty good. And eggs, yeah, they look pretty good as well. Right, straw is up to 132 right there. And then hay is much the same, although we won't be selling very many of those. Now, here we're talking the limousan. Ayrshire is, limousan, I think, is beef. Ayrshire, I'm pretty sure, is milk. Sailor. Is that sailor? I don't know if that's a, a meat or a, a um, meat or milk. Not really sure. Holstein, they're milk. Quite cheap. I'm assuming this is in thousands right here. So limousines, they sell for quite a lot of money. And then Holsteins, they're the milk animals. So they might be cheaper. And then you've got Brahmins here, various different colours. But the Brahmins are all much the same. And you've got a Dorset and a Merino. Oh, no, no we're talking about um, sheep down here. Um, I'm thinking we'll probably go with Holstein cows. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll, we'll see what we end up going with. And then we've got... Yes, the sheep don't matter. The pigs over here. The Gloucester Old Spot. Okay. Yorkshire there. That's 3,000 per sheep... Uh, per pig up there. And then the Gloucester Old Spot is the same. And the Spotted. The Berkshire. That goes way up as well. So those... There's some good sell prices on those. I think we might end up making a decent bit of money. And then chickens over here. We've got Rhode Island rates. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.